there. Today we're going to make a homemade pizza. I've got Lou Vicolo here. He is the pizza expert. We're going to have Super Bowl party over here tomorrow. And if you can tell by the balloons who we're all rooting for. <laughs> so we're, he's going to make the, we're starting a little early. We're going to make the dough tonight and then uh, finish it up tomorrow. But uh, he's going to show us how to do it. I've never done this. So you're on, Lou. Okay, first I'm going to put some yeast in the bottom of my pan here. Now, a lot of times I'll put a lot, a little bit more yeast than, than most people, because I, I do like it a little yeasty. He cooks like me. Yeah, I don't measure anything. So what was that, about yeah. three teaspoons? Yeah, so it's about three. I'm actually I'm going to put a little bit more in there. <laughs> Since I've mentioned it. Yeah. <laughs> and then what I'm going to do is put a little bit of warm water in there. Come over here, give me a glass. So like a cup or? Uh, no, this is just, this is just, uh, yeah, like a cup. But the warm water helps dissolve it. And, uh, and then I'll put some uh, sugar in it here in a second, which I have it sitting over there. And sugar, the sugar is, a, is a, helps the yeast grow. I'll put a little bit of water in there. And my wife took all the utensils. <laughs> oh, there they are. There they are. <laughs> she always. Okay, then we'll go ahead and stir that up a little Clean. bit. And what I'll do is put a little bit of sugar in here. You want to make sure you use good sugar because you you don't want the uh, you use bad sugar. You don't want the you don't want a yeast infection. <laughs> I was gonna say, what is bad sugar? <laughs> okay, there is like he even measures less than I measure. Yeah. There's no way we'll this, get this, this, helps, <laughs> this helps this yeast grow. <laughs> no, I mean, it's sad. I, I measure nothing. So and what would you say that was? Because it was like that. Was that a That's probably about three, three, three tablespoons. Three, that was three tablespoons? No, that, no I, I put in about four or five of those. I need a smash. Now, here, here, now another measuring. thing is you always have to make four sure. Four or five of these. <laughs> Okay, now this has to sit until it starts growing, and that's how you know your yeast is okay to use. I mean, sometimes uh, if, you're, if, it do, if it doesn't grow at least double the size, then we might, the, the yeast could be bad. So, so how long does it take? It takes about 15, 20 minutes. You know, and you'll, you'll start seeing it bubbling up here in a little bit. So we're just going to have to wait. How far did you fill that glass up with water? I, uh, so just, a normal drinking glass took yeah. about that far yeah. of water and used that much. Yeah, used that much. <laughs> Again, I, it's just, you know, uh, we put sugar in it, put the yeast in it, put warm water in it. That helps dissolve it. We're just going to let it sit. And you'll, you'll see it bubbling up. You're taking a picture of it, uh, what it looks like now, and then we'll, we'll see what it looks like here in about 20 minutes. And it should double in size, maybe, maybe 10 minutes. should double in size. It's already, it's already bubbling up right now. So the yeast looks like it's in good shape. Let that bubble up, and then we'll start putting the flour in. And the flour, I use uh, uh, one with a lot of gluten in it, and it... Uh, it does or doesn't? It has a lot of gluten in it. See, it's, it's, you know, it's, you know, you know, if you use all-purpose flour, it just doesn't, it, it, the gluten breaks down too easily. Yeah. You want something with a lot of gluten in it. So, like, and what brand do you use? I, I bought, I, actually, I bought this one at Sands, but there's sometimes, I, you know, there's a place where my wife bought some. I can't remember where she bought it at. And it was absolutely wonderful, wonderful flour. It had a lot, a lot of gluten in it. But this stuff here is not bad at Sam's. I bought it at Sam's, and it just it's bread and bread and pizza dough for bread and pizza dough. But it has to have a lot of uh, gluten. A lot, so a lot of it's kind of hard if you're a gluten free. You yes, know. yes. I mean, you know, I'm not. Uh, this is not gluten free food. Believe me. We don't eat healthy. You know. <laughs> what do you see him throwing his pizza dough tomorrow? He makes some awesome pizzas, and when we're all together, he's making different pizzas for different people. We may even try an anchovy pizza tomorrow. I'm going to try an anchovy pizza tomorrow. I, I don't, not, not a lot of people like anchovies, but uh, I'm going to try to do... You know, it's really hard to actually look at the camera. I know it is. You know, I'm, I'm looking down all the yeah, time. I'm just afraid to look at it. I know. Don't look at Pat. Huh? He'll yell at you. I, I know. <laughs> probably, it's probably doubled in size. So now what we do is go ahead and turn the mixer on. I, put, I, I keep it on low, and uh, 
I have it, I have it down right now. Now again, I don't know how much this is or not. Big it's a big scoop. Scoop or full. And I go ahead and, and I put in a scoop. Do I feel like not scooping anymore? Everybody needs a scooper anyway. That's two. Three. Okay, when it starts, when it starts, uh, now it'll start, uh, I'll put it up a little bit. There we go. Now it'll start cranking down a little bit. I put ice water in it. That slows down the, the heat a little bit. So how much did you put in? I mean, did you, I mean That's did three you... right there. Three of these. Three what? If you want to, you can take, you can take these here. That's four. But how much, I'll say, so a, pretty much a pitcher of water, right? Right. Okay, we got sugar in there. We got. I'm gonna put a little bit of olive oil in with it. I, I usually put it in about right now. That's a lot of olive oil. You want your? You want, I still want to put more flour in. You gonna put more flour? Yeah. In? Would, you put some, would you put some more water in there? That's five. How much water? Yeah. You're just trying to get it for a consistency. Model. Yep. You can always add a little bit more. Now, you're probably wondering why I didn't put salt in it. You don't put salt in with the yeast because it uh, deactivates the yeast. Oh, so right. I've already, you know, you know, incorporated the yeast in with the dough. So we should be able to put the salt in now. Okay. There's no way to figure out the measurements on this. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and well, I think I put a little bit more water in there, a little more flour. I put flour, this is my uh, sixth one. Yeah, six. Usually I put it into what comes over the top. Now you, another thing is you need to mix this as thoroughly as possible. You want to do, want to do most of your mixing now. And then when it starts rising, you just want to punch it down. You don't want to do a lot of kneading yeah. it. So when you let it rise and then you punch it down, punch and it. then you let it rise again and yeah. punch it and down. Yeah, and what I'll do is, what I will do is I'll take this and I'll put it in the refrigerator. Oh. Yeah, I'll put it in the refrigerator. And let it rise in there? See if I... So then what do you do? Take it out and punch it down there? How many times do you punch it down? Uh, you, I mean, it, it'll, keep, it'll keep rising. Matter of fact, you can... Too much or whatever. I don't want to burn my mixer up. It's getting close. Now you see, you, you want to mix it. It's going to mix a little longer. But see, your goal is to try to see all that stuff on the. Look at look look inside the mixer. You don't see anything on the sides right, or anything. Right. That's when you. That's when you got a pretty good consistency. Okay. Let's go ahead and put that over there. I know we don't want to drop it. Knock it off. I'm going to go ahead and knead it there here in a minute. Put the dough in this? I'm going to put the dough in the, on the deck right now. Okay. Then I'll put it in there. Yeah. Okay, now that should kick back on. You know, I think it's, it yeah, this, this just kicked off. So. Huh? You can talk. You go ahead and you go ahead and knead it. It's not. So just needs to cool off a minute. Yeah. Yeah, it feels hot. Keep it like my kitchen aid. Just need, need it. Need your arms up. Get your other side. I want to get to its nice, nice ball. I tuck so everything. You're just I tuck the flour, getting it floured. And yeah, tuck everything in there. And I put it in this container. So you want, so you want, you want something covered on it. 
because you want to be able to uh, you want to get the air out of it because uh, you'll get a crust over it, which you don't want. You definitely don't want a crust on top of it. You know, so I used this to, when it rises up and you'll go back and knead it yeah, down again and it's yeah, yeah. So you just watch it for that. Yes, I'll watch it for that. I'll leave this out for a little bit. It's going to rise right there. So we are making the marinara pizza sauce. And I think I said that right. Did yes, I right? Yeah, you did. So we're going to go ahead and make that. And his is a little different and I'll let him explain it all. But we're going to go ahead and make that tonight too so that tomorrow he can watch the game longer. I mean, he can be in there watching the game and just really just be making pizzas and everything else is pretty much made up that way. So here, he's going to tell you these are the ingredients and he's going to tell you what to do. Okay, now on this marinara sauce, it's a cold sauce. You know, obviously when you put it on the pizza and you heat the pizza up, obviously it heats it up. That's, that's how it cooks the sauce. So right now I'm going to put in some olive oil. And again, it's all to feel. I have no idea how much I'm putting in. This is, uh, this so how is, much tomato sauce was that? That though? was one large can of tomato well, sauce. Big. One of them big cans, because I'm making it for a lot of people. If you're just doing it for one person, you just use a 15 ounce can, you know, and you can, you know, and... Uh, just a little yeah, swirl of yeah. olive oil. Yes. And this is Pecorino Romano. It's a little bit different than the Parmesan. It's a, it's a lot better. Exam? It's a lot, lot stronger. But you put, uh, I put quite a bit in it. Pecorino... Pecorino Romano. It has it's a stronger a, flavor than... Yes. What, do, do most people put Romano or Parmesan? They put Parmesan in. Okay. Most people are used to Parmesan. This is uh, granulated garlic. Gra granulated garlic. Okay, and again, this is all to feel. I mean, I might have to add a little bit here and there. And oregano. The, the, the garlic and the oregano are key ingredients. I put a pinch in my hand here. You, so don't you, want, can, you, can you don't want to overdo it on, on any of the spices until you taste it once. And then if you think you need a little bit, there's a little onion powder. Can't Why really they, go wrong they, they got oregano. huge holes there for onion powder. I'm just going to try. Actually, it's granulated onion. I'm sorry. There you go. And then and we got uh, salt. Do the red pepper. I do the red pepper. And, and I use this on everything. I love, uh, I love using... Uh, uh, red pepper it just gives you just a just a little bite you know yeah, this, his are never really hot i don't yeah. like real hot you know so that was probably like half a teaspoon yeah yeah in. i know she's she's trying to figure out the the sizes of what i do here same with salt now here's another thing usually out of all these ingredients you put in the one that it needs the most is the salt I mean, most people don't put enough salt in it and it, when, usually it'll, it'll taste too tomatoey you know? The salt cuts down on tomatoes. Yes. That's a lot of salt. Yeah, well, it's, I, I might be putting more in it until I taste it. <laughs> you know, where's Let's my... Uh, more. Oh, that spatula. Yeah. Then I go ahead and mix that all up. And then what I like doing is like let it sit overnight so it marinates and marries each other. The longer it sits, the stronger the flavor is. Yes. That's a lot of here. Oh, hit me in the back. <laughs> <laughs> hit me lick it. <laughs> I did that one time and. But there's uh, pepper uh, still off, a big clump of it. Okay. And I want to give Jody a little taste. To you see can see it, all the flavor. I mean, you can yeah. see all the seasonings down in it. Yeah. And like I said, as I'm doing it, when I'm putting the sauce in it, like I said, you, you know, this will take cover. This will cover both of them things of sauce. You just put one scoop. You don't want to put a lot of sauce on your pizza. That's good. I like that. Yes, yes. That's I put that's plenty of salt. So he did it perfect. Yes. I have that easy next. Yep. I can't even begin but, to say uh, how but, much salt that was. But that was, uh, it felt, I mean, it felt good. It felt good pouring it in. I enjoyed pouring the salt in. <laughs> pouring salt in the wind. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so we're going to put this stuff up. So what do you think that was, like a half a cup of salt? No, was, geez, no. It was a lot of salt. Uh, I would say two or, two or three tablespoons. Not, not teaspoons, tablespoons. That's in okay. a big can, though. Yeah. Now, this is a, we're, we're dealing with a, a big can. Okay. Like so I said, like if you're doing can. it by yourself, you know, we have you know you're gonna have a, a smaller can, you know, and, and a lot of times you might even have a 
a 13 or 12 ounce can. You know, you just have to doctor it up a little bit. But again, you, you know, if it doesn't taste right for you, just add a pinch more of salt to it, and I guarantee you. It, well, it, so you, if you started off with even two tablespoons and then tasted it, you could add. Yes, it. yes, you always add more, and that's that. that that's yeah, literally you perfect. Take it away, but yeah. you can add it. Well, you, you can take it away because I can just. Oh, add more salt. You can't take it away because you add more I can, salt. I, well, no, I throw it in the trash and just start over again. <laughs> <laughs> no. Anyways, so I got everything here. Okay, yeah. but the Pecorino Romano is the ticket. That is really that good is, cheese. Well, that and then it's cold sauce and not. Yes. And I didn't. I would have never guessed that you put the cheese in the sauce. Yes. Well, now again, I, I, and then here's another thing: is when we make the pizza, I'm going to show you another little trick. You know, and I and I just learned this myself: is you don't put a lot of a lot of pump or pe or pecorino, or not, not, not pe pecorino, a mozzarella on top of the. Because what it does, it makes a, the pizza a little soggy. You know what I mean? So you, you, you want to put just a moderate amount of cheese on it. I know people like, I like double cheese. That's fine, but it, what it does, just makes it soggy. When you see them at the, when you see, at the pizza place, it never looks like they put enough cheese on and I guess that's why. That's I probably why. See how much more it's risen than the first one? I so feel, when it fills all the way up tonight, you'll hit it back down. Yeah. Because we will, I mean, game's at 5 o'clock tomorrow, so we're... Yeah, and then, and then I like, uh, let's see, I, let's see you know, and I'll tell you how I, you know, do my peppers and onions and mushrooms and stuff like that. Are you still taping? Yeah, you're talking. <laughs> As I'm talking, I'll tell you how I'm doing peppers and onions and stuff like that because a lot of times I'll just put just plain peppers and onions on the pizza. I like to saute mine a little bit. Just to soften them up a little bit and just with a little bit of uh, seasoning. So it gives them a little bit of flavor. It's not so bland. So you saute? I saute, yeah. I saute. It's always better. In yeah. The, in I saute the onions, peppers, and the mushrooms. And I saute all that. Because again, I, I, and I know why the restaurants do it because it does save time. It's a lot easier just throwing regular vegetables on it. And most customers don't mind. But I like, personally, I like the pizza to have. Everything home, homemade is yeah. always better, anyway. Yeah. Yeah. We're, we're back at it. He's in, he's already ahead of us over here. Right now he's getting ready for cinnamon rolls, so he's rolling out some of the dough to make cinnamon rolls. But tell us what you've done our, before we got Right here, here. I sauteed some uh, mushrooms. I uh, got some store-bought chicken. Sauteed some uh, peppers and onions. Got the, uh, the got sausage and the pepperoni and the uh, mozzarella. mozzarella cheese. And the mozzarella is low-moisture mozzarella, but... Uh, We'll probably, I'll probably put that in the, it's been in the freezer, so it probably has some ice in it. So what I'll do is, people aren't coming to about 4, 3, 5. I'll put that in a colander, so any kind of liquid will, you know, get out of the uh, material. Get the liquid out of the cheese is what Yeah. <laughs> I'll translate. Did that make sense to you? Yeah, I knew what you meant. And this, this just stretches it out a little bit. This is where we do the I Love Lucy episode. And you see, if you, if you can see how we haven't put a hole in it yet, that usually indicates it's pretty, pretty good dough. So when you put a hole in it, what do you do? Just go over it. <laughs> <laughs> and see, I, I roll it out because, you know, it's, it has a lot of elasticity. It keeps wanting to come back. But that means it's good. That means it's good. It means that the yeast is working good. And we got all the stuff over here for the cinnamon rolls. Yeah, uh, thin that out a little bit. I wash my hands. You know, and see, it's. Where is the colander? And I'll put the cheese in it. Or are you waiting? Uh, no, I'm not waiting. But just make sure that it's dry, the colander. Okay. Where are they? Uh, didn't I, did you put it up, Patty? Patty, where's the colander? <laughs> you try to make it as square as possible when you're rolling it out. And go ahead and put a little hey. bit of butter on it. I might 
Put that in the microwave a second. It's kind of, okay, let it I'm out gonna let that right there. Put some butter on it. And be generous on the butter. Okay, so you got it rolled out. So what, like a fourth of a, what inch thickness would you call it? Uh, that's probably, uh, it's probably a quarter inch. Yeah, we're gonna butter it all. Gonna butter it all. Did you get, the, oh, you got some out. Okay. And we're gonna put raisins in the first one. Do raisins in all of them? No. Some people don't like raisins. I don't. Looks like uh, Put anchovies in them? I put anchovies in them too, <laughs> yeah. You know, sometimes... See if they notice. I tell them, uh, when we put raisins in them, I always ask my wife, I said, Patty, you see where our roaches went? <laughs> Here they are. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Stay back in your box, Herbie. <laughs> So you don't really spread it, you just set it Yeah, yeah, because it's just, it's gonna, it's gonna incorporate itself. Believe me. Yeah. Sometimes I'll take a brush to it. You just, you to take the brush to his hair too. Okay, I, I probably didn't do anything with hair. Okay, let me take some brown sugar. That's why you try to use, try to use fresh uh, brown sugar. Because sometimes it gets, I mean, I mean, it just sucks moisture out of the air and it gets hard as a rock. Put a little cinnamon in it. These look going to be yummy. I've never mm. had it. This, this is the best part. Okay, then you take it. Oh, oh got the roaches. <laughs> Otherwise known as raisins. Yeah. yeah, raisins. And that is why I don't eat raisins. Because <laughs> <laughs> blue. <laughs> these, are, these, these, these are good raisins too. I got good raisins today. I mean, these are stuck together and they don't they fall apart. And they're good, actually good. Okay, there we go. You don't have to put raisins in them. I, I like them with raisins. What about the condom? I should have brought my condom. You go ahead and roll it up into a nice... Kind of spread it out a little bit. Make it look so easy. There's your knife if you need it. Yeah. And then what I do is I usually cut the ends off. I cut them off big enough in case it doesn't fill that pan up, I use them. But sometimes I won't even use these ends. Really? Yeah. I want, you know, oh, okay, take it and just put uh, just a Touch of water. I mean, we're talking about a little bit. Maybe a. Is that oh my gosh. Well, that's a touch. Okay, that's enough. A touch is, <laughs> a touch is a teaspoon. <laughs> okay, then I usually take my uh, cutter here, and then what? So I do, why do you put water in it? Gives you a little bit of moisture at the bottom. Now I go ahead and measure that there. Measure that there. Measure right there. They're all uniform in size. Within reason. I can't wait to eat these. And I'm not even a big cinnamon roll person. I know, it already is. It's already making me a cinnamon roll person. Okay, let me go ahead and put them in a the pan. Spread them apart just a little bit. I'm putting them right next to each other. I'm going to let these sit, put a little towel over them. How much do they rise, like over the pan? Uh, I don't know. We've already, it's, already, it's already risen a couple times. You know, I don't know how much, how much more they'll rise. Because, we, you know, I, I, I punched it down again this morning. Punched it down last night. We're going to let them sit for maybe now. at least twice today. Yeah. Yeah, I punched it down once today. Okay, I think one more will do it. Oh, 
A piece of dough. Get ready to make pizza. Now. When we get ready to make pizza, I'm gonna, I'll make a, a thin one. The first one's gonna make is gonna be real thin. Okay. I'm gonna fire it up. Put my lid back on there. Here's my marinara sauce. Yeah, so, oh my god. The cheese I, is still frozen. So that's I'm okay. That's okay. Up. It's okay. I'm gonna, this on the side will come back for that. Yeah, just because it's not breaking up so easy. Now this came out of the refrigerator, and what I do is I make it big enough to fit around my pan. Where is your pan out there? Today? Well, I mean, I got several of them, so I don't have right here right now. Yeah, so I need to see how big of a piece you broke up. Because that's a big pan for that little bitty piece. Right. It might not uh, fit as good as I want it to, but uh, that's just a, uh, I'll know how much to put next time. It's the anchovy one, right? Yeah, I could do the anchovy one. I'd like to see, I'd like to see uh, Pat try it. I want to try it, too. I'm going to try it. Cause you, you like anchovy, right? Yeah. I won't make a face if I don't like it. But see, you gotta remember that, that the cinnamon rolls were a lot thicker than the, the, the pizza. The so pizza's gonna be. Yeah. You have to let me try doing that. Don't you? Can you throw them up? Yeah, you can. You can throw it up. I, I don't. Like, I'm not very good at it. You gotta catch it. Yeah. But it stretches it out. See, so you can get that like that. Like I said, that's why I said your do our dough's in good shape because. It has a lot of elasticity. And, that, and then you just roll your roll at the ends. You're going to see my grandkids run through here pretty soon. Excited about the Chiefs. See, a lot of times when you can, you, you can. So you got that pretty far. Yep. You can kind of keep it in it, so I'm seeing. I did put a hole in it, but that's not a bad deal. So temperature is what? Four, I, I put it at 450. What I'm stretching out. Yeah. What I'm going to do is I'm going to... This might not fit the pan. I'll make it. I'll make take more dough out next time. Just kind of a feel thing, you know. It's the first one I made. A little spray oil, olive oil, Crisco. It's the good one. 
Okay, a little more freedom. Okay. I'm going to put it on the piece. Now, it's not going to fit there totally perfectly. I'm going to make the, the, uh, what was it say again? The, uh, the no, I'm going to, I cut the edges off. Go ahead and bring it in a little bit. It's not going to, it's not going to fit the whole, yeah. It's not going to fit the pizza perfectly, which is okay. Because it's going to be the anchovy one. And, and I'm and thinking. And homemade, so it doesn't yeah. really matter. Yeah, see, this is how you make your crust. Flip that up. Oh, you flip it up a little bit? Yeah. Everybody has to at least try it. Oh, I think uh, one of them's still alive. <laughs> in the can? Yeah, in the can. Still alive. What I'm going to do is take some of the juice. Okay, you can get the juice on it. Oh, yeah, it has olive oil on it. Olive oil. Now, if you guys are wondering what these things are, these are capers. If you wonder what they are. <laughs> okay. I know everybody's thinking, what the hell is that? It looks like they. Is that what an anchovy yeah, is? Yeah, it's. Right there, that's a caper. Now, we're just. Uh, what it does, it gives it. Uh, so, that's all the oil you put on it then? I'm going to put a little bit more olive oil on it. more sprinkle of olive oil on it. You put any seasoning? I'm, I'm going to go ahead and put uh, Pecorino Romano cheese on it once it's cooked. Oh. And then put it in for another few minutes. Oh, okay. Okay. In the oven, 350. The yeah, what I'll do is I'll take <laughs> that out. And I'll... Okay, we're going to try another one. Yeah, keep pushing it. Push it, push it outward, this way. From the middle? Yeah, from the middle out. Can do this. Roll it, put it in, put it in, part of me in the middle. Kind of work it around the head. Kind of twist it around a little bit. That? Let the weight of it do it. Kind of fat mounts up a little bit. Again, I'm. <laughs> you want to take it from me? <laughs> yeah, it's pretty. See, yeah, it's a lot bigger than the last piece. Yeah, it's working. Go ahead and roll it. I see it lengthening out a little bit. Just keeps moving back into its shape. Yeah, it does. It will do that. We need the two fists. Huh? We need the two fists. Here. Just try to stretch. No, he's getting it a lot bigger. Yeah, I lost him. Okay. Let me, there it is. You gotta. It, it does. It keeps coming come back, and it's just a pain in the butt. But. Well, that means it's good. Yes. That means that, that we got the right amount of. Ever had it? I don't think I've ever had any trouble. And see, you reach it. Make sure you goes over the ends. The crust is good. That's probably what half a cup. Huh? Uh, like? Yeah, probably a half a cup. You don't want too much. That's uh, pecorino romano cheese here. It's not going to hurt anything. But you really don't want to over sauce it. And, uh, your, all your ingredients falls off. That's too much sauce. Uh, be more, more, more than I put on. You know what I mean? If you put too much sauce on it. See, this will this will spread out when it starts cooking too. Yeah. 
And you, you know, and like everybody thinks they don't want a lot of cheese, you don't want a whole bunch of cheese on it. Because again, it puts a lot of moisture on it. And you'd be surprised how much that covers. You know what I mean? That when right there. Melts, yeah. yeah. Pepperoni. Go check that pizza real now quick. This looks like the pizza you're used to. Believe you never wear. Yeah. Let's, let's pull this out a little bit. That's just going to be in there for a few minutes. We'll take it out. Yum. And do you put this kind of cheese on the other one? No. I mean, it's in, it's in the thought. Yeah. This is, this is just a, okay, go ahead, put, shut that door one more time. Let that cook for a, just a few minutes. What kind of cheese that is again? That's Pecorino Romano. Show a picture of it. Pecorino Romano. So we're putting pepperonis around on here? Yeah, put pepperonis around there. We're getting ready to put the next pizza in. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> Anchovy pizza. Okay, now. Put the temperature at uh, 975. <laughs> I'm lying to you. For, the temperature's for two already there. Minutes. Yeah, yeah. Wait, you want to try it? Nope. We'll show you that one when it comes out. Okay, let's go. Pizza. We're going to keep making several different flavors of pizza, but here's the anchovy pizza. Okay, our pepperoni's ready. Yeah, this stick is Put it right on top here. There you go. Okay. And he's and Lou is working on the next one already. All our guests are arriving. Remember, aesthetically they're not the prettiest looking things. But everybody will be grabbing this one in just a second, and we're making the next one. Oh, not we, Lou is. I'm claiming that I'm not. There you go. Grab the pizza. Grab the pizza. You good? Look, stay over here for a second. So that's, that's Lou's, that's Lou's pizza, Lou's pizza making. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to my channel. Go Chiefs. Bye.